It's Friday, time for another weekly update. This week, I joined great adventurers such as Amelia Earhart, Jacques Cousteau, Neil Armstrong, Matthew Henson, and Sophia Dannenberg to help launch Read City USA's latest challenge, Dare to Explore. Learn more about this exciting program and how you can participate by going to readcityusa.com. And remember, adventure begins at your library. In case you missed it, the Tennessee Department of Transportation recently released a new 10-year transportation plan dubbed Build With Us. The plan is fiscally constrained, meaning that funding for the projects is reasonably expected to be available. Unfortunately, for many years, TDOT bit off more than it could chew when it came to highway improvements. Projects were started, then more projects were started before the previous ones were completed, which resulted in the funding for the original project being delayed. That's why it's taken so long for some projects around the state to be completed. So what TDOT is trying to accomplish, clearing the backlog of projects on their books before adding new ones, is laudable. At the same time, TDOT has decided to delay some important projects in our area, especially the exit at I-4075 and Campbell Station Road and the completion of the Pellissippi Parkway extension in Blount County. They have also decided to drastically scale back the proposed new interchange at I-4075 and Watt Road. I certainly understand TDOT's position concerning finances, and I cannot say that they're wrong. At the same time, these projects are essential, not only for safety and mobility, but also for our economic future. Keep in mind that delays can sometimes lead to the project ultimately dying on the vine, much like the Orange Route did. TDOT has always been a good partner with us and discussions are ongoing, so I'll keep you apprised as things develop. Some sad news, Knox County Board of Education Representative Mike McMillan has passed away. As Superintendent John Reiswick said, Mike devoted nearly a quarter century to public service, and in that time, he led with wisdom and an unwavering commitment to what was right for kids and for our community. On a personal note, Mike was always very gracious and kind to me. He will be missed. Congratulations to this month's Employees of the Month, Tiffany Barnard from Finance and Matt Wallace from Parks and Rec. Great work, guys. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.